Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Team Viking, playing Banjo Kazooie. Playing the worst game. In my life. We have been playing this for over a year. Well, Need, actually, uh, not at the time of recording. At the time of recording, there are like five days until we've been playing it for over a year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Um, we started playing this on the eighth of October, twenty fifteen. Oh. Okay, so that's actually six days until it's been a year. Because it's October second today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But still, we've been almost playing it for an entire year. On October fourth, he asked me what date it was. What? What's, what day is it? October fourth. You drowned? Yeah. Good yeah. thing we got an extra life. Yay! Um, and we surpassed the best the best note score for this world. There's no jiggies. We have no jiggies. But we unlocked a jiggy. Is it still there? It's outside. Oh, it's outside. Okay, then it's probably still there. It's out there. Um. More like us, pretty far out. Um. Oh, are you kidding me? Fucking. Okay, I want to see something. Do I lose air by just staying at top, afloat in the water? Yes. <sighs> like uh, just like water. Link in the Wind Waker. What? Yeah, have you ever noticed when you're swimming around in Wind Waver, like Link? Even if your head oh. is above the water, you keep fucking losing air yeah. because he doesn't understand you have to put your mouth over the water. Yeah. It's super it's annoying. It's dumb. Yeah. God damn it, Link. Pull yourself together. I should play more Wind Waker. Oh. It's been a while since I played that. And I miss playing it because it's so pretty. Already completed it. So summery. I, of course, you already completed it. Of course, I did. Um, rusty bucket. Oh, that's why it's called Rusty Bucket Bay. That's what they call me. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I am not going to ask any questions. Nope. So, anyway, how is your sex life? <laughs> I thought you said you weren't going to ask any questions. <laughs> um, I just said. I am hopefully me. gonna do my last paper in History, Society and Culture, Communication and Media. Um, uh, yeah, that's like the longest uh, time for a, for a subject so ever. So barfy. Wait, I am... is that an ugly child in the yeah. middle of the poison? I hope yeah. he falls in. Oh my god, you I'm probably gonna... I'm hopefully, <gasps> if possible. What? Where am I? <laughs> You're so cute. I thought That's because I thought You're I died. Adorable. I thought I couldn't like... Whoa. Is this? Oh, those are like the fucking thingies on the playground you have to stay on. I, I don't like it. You don't? I don't. <laughs> Get me out of here. Uh, hopefully Please. I'm gonna do my last paper in History, Society, and Culture, Communication, and Media. On, Could you stop saying that? No. Okay. On The Room. The movie. Um... Uh, I really hope no. I will be able to. I don't. I don't want to. Because that would be the funniest shit in the world. Especially because I have to go <gasps> in and like... Talk about fucking angles and pers like perspective and music, and I'm just if I if I have to talk about the soundtrack, I'm gonna be like when they put down the soundtrack, the record skipped, which it did. Yeah, it's amazing, and I really fucking hope I can be allowed to do it. And I just I gotta talk to my professor about it soon. I hope I I am crossing my fingers for you. Thank you. This thing so far. We should play the flash game made about the room. No. Yeah, we no. should. Come on, no. it'd be nice. It'd be fun. No. I have to read the. Lie. I have to read the book that uh, Greg Sestero wrote about the room. Disaster artist. Yeah, I really want to read that. You I don't want to. You know, I haven't. Um, oh, I haven't I heard all. I've listened to the audiobook. I, I have the audiobook, but I don't like the way he reads. Oh, right, I remember. He reads terribly. But he does a great disagree, impression but... of Tommy Wiseau. He does. And that's the reason why I would listen to it, but I don't like when he's just reading. I, I disagree. I think he's pretty fine as an mm. audiobook reader. Mm. I knew there were things down there. But um, I really want to read that, and I have to... I have to finish reading the Welcome to Nightville novel before this weekend. Oh, at the time of recording. right. Uh, well, I don't have to, but right. I would like but to. But you would like to. Because we 
you, me, and Emily are going to the live We're show in Copenhagen. We're going to see ghost stories. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it ghost stories? Yeah. Oh, damn. I didn't even know where we were going <laughs> to... Damn. Uh, great. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to it. Same. I really like that we've been going on so many, like, trips lately. Did you know that Anna was going to be with you? No! Is she? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. Shout out to Anna! Anna is like one of our most- Oh! Take the ugly child! First, Anna. kill the, the less ugly thing. Anna is like one of our best subscribers, like, yeah. shout out to Anna! Yay, we Anna! We love you! So sweet. Yes. Um, always leaves nice comments. It's just so nice. Yeah. We would love to have you on the show, if you want. Yes! That would be cool. We should we should play the room. Do it, do it with Anna. <laughs> oh my god. Or something else entirely. I also have like half uh, half a date with Anna and Helena. We don't know when, but we are apparently, according to my Instagram, going to eat cake at some point together. Oh, well, that sounds nice. Yeah. So if you're up for that, Anna... Let I'm... them eat cake. Oh my god, she never actually said that. No, Did I don't. You know I... I oh, you ha Marie you know... Curie? It was not Marie Curie. Wow. Who was it? Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. <laughs> Marie Curie. You know, just in between, you know, discovering like Blanken and stuff like that. She's like, she's like, let them eat cake. You know, it's fine. I always get them mixed up. Marie Antoinette. She never actually said that. No. But a lot of people say that she said it. Yes. Someone said it. Yeah, someone said it and she probably quoted it at mm -hmm. some point. Yes. Um, I, I spent like one of those evenings where you just read random stuff. Yeah, wiki walking. To well, yeah. Kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You know, it, yeah, it was a wiki walk, and I just like read about that statement, and yeah. I was like, so you know, you just get so into it, and it's like, oh, this is so interesting. It's like the that most interesting that was thing what, in the world. That, that was what happened to me in maple syrup uh, urine disease okay, the two, other day. That was weird. Stuff. Um, we have to open that. Oh, it's a gate. Okay. So that's probably like the main, the main, the main thing of this right world. Now. Yeah. Um, that would maybe a little clean water. Oh, that's the could oily, be nice. oily water. Okay, nice. Um, also, another misquotation, and personally yeah. one of my favorite misquotations. Yes. Is uh, blood is thicker than water. Yes. That is wrong. So wrong. The original quote is. Well, it's not wrong. It's, not it's a just quote. It's, it's chopped. It's yeah, like. Yeah, it's uh, and because it's chopped, it changes the whole meaning. Totally. Of the sentence. Because the original is, the blood of the coven is thicker than the water of the womb, meaning that the exact opposite. The exact opposite that friends or you know the coven <laughs> is more important than family. But then they changed it to blood is thicker than water, and then it's just like family comes first. And I'm like, no, no, no that's, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. And the thing is, oh well, not the thing, but there's one of my favorite songs by Amanda Palmer. Mm -hmm. Um, it has the lyric. But as they say, the blood is thicker, and it's about like breaking out from your family ties and stuff. Yeah. And I, every time I'm listening, I'm like, "This is such a good song," and then that lyric comes, and I'm like, "But that's wrong." <laughs> she could just use the original, and that would actually fit the song. Yeah, but um, she didn't. She didn't. She probably didn't know. But Amanda Palmer is fucking cool, yeah. and married to Neil Gaiman, who is also fucking cool, and who became a grandfather the other day. Oh, yeah, for the first time. And the thing is. He just became a grandfather. His oldest son, Michael, had a baby. Uh, well, his his wife had the baby, obviously, but, you know. Um, I mean, and science! Yeah, so Neil Gaiman's son became a father, and Neil Gaiman's... That's Neil Gaiman's oldest son, mm -hmm. son, and Neil Gaiman's youngest son just celebrated his one-year birthday. Oh, so well Ash... Then who is Neil Gaiman's youngest son, will be able to be best friends and play with his nephew, Everett, who is a year younger than him. But yeah. I mean, that's how it is. When that's how it is with me and my nephew and niece. I'm closer to them in age than I am to my brother. That's true. Yeah. Well, your half-brother. My half-brother. Well, are they half- They are also half-brother. Yeah, I was gonna half say. Half-siblings. Half-siblings. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because Michael and Maddie and Holly were with Neil's first wife, whose name escapes me at the moment. And Ash is the child he has with Amanda Palmer. Mm. And they're together right now. Yeah. Yeah. And he has like the bluest eyes ever. And the biggest eyes of a baby ever. Sounds it's scary. I'll put up a picture of him. But he's super cute. I mean, usually I don't think babies are cute. But Ash Gaiman is super cute. <clears throat> What? 
Gaiman? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I said Gaiman for the longest time, but then someone on Twitter actually asked Neil, how do you pronounce your last name? He was just like, Gaiman. Anyway, like a gay man. Yeah. We were just like, oh, okay, I, I guess that's how it is. I, 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 I hoped that it was not pronounced Gaiman because it was kind of awkward, but then I heard like that thing and I was like, oh, well, okay then. No! Come on, just... That, I didn't want this. I want to be a parent to these ugly children. You're not a parent, you're just their liberator. Whatever, man. That's the same thing. What? Liberating it from the womb. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> That's an image for you. Yeah. Uh, fidgety... Uh... What? It's fidgety. Oh, right. I heard it as wonky. Fiji tea, like tea from Fiji, and I was like, Fiji what, the tea. what the fuck are you talking about? Fiji tea. Yeah, obviously. No, it's pronounced Fiji. Fiji yeah. tea. Not like Fiji, but Fiji. Like Fugu. I watched... Did you know Emily had Fugu when she was in Japan? Yeah, I knew. I knew. <gasps> um, speaking of Fiji... She told you, but she didn't tell me. I asked Until her. Then? I, I asked her. Well, she didn't tell me. Um... I watched the Truman Show the other night yeah. because we had to for class. For the first time? Or? No, for the second time. Okay. And I cannot stand... Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey. I fucking hate Jim Carrey. Really? Yeah. Wow! And I know Why? A lot of people are uh, react like that and I just... It's, I, it's not that I like, I'm like, yes, but it usually people are like, yeah, he's kind of funny, you know? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, it's I just weird that people are so... I don't know, like, uh, uh, excuse my excuse my expression, but aggressively dislike him, yeah. as it appears to you. Uh, for I, you to I aggressively dislike him. Mm. A lot of people aggressively like him. That's um, true. Well, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like he's been overdone. Like, oh. he plays the same role, he plays the same character in every movie I, I have so. ever watched. And I have watched a lot of Jim Carrey movies, because the gang I was in, not the gang, but the group of friends I was in, in the smaller grade, like 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th grade. Um, one of the people, in, no, actually two of the people in our little five-man gang mm -hmm. were huge Jim Carrey fans. So we always watched Jim Carrey movies, which is probably also one of the reasons why I'm so fucking sick of him. Um, but I just feel like it's the same character he plays every fucking time, and I don't think it's a very funny character. So, But I had to watch The Truman Show for class. And... Um, in the Truman Show, he talks about how he wants to go to Fiji, and mm. there's there's a different reason for it than the one he gives in the beginning of the movie, but I'm not gonna spoil it, but he says in the beginning of the movie I've that, seen it. Okay, yeah, but The Watchers. Uh, it's an old movie, you can't spoil it. Okay, so he wants to go to Fiji because that's apparently where his the love of his life went. He thinks. Yeah. It's not, but he thinks so. But he says in the movie... Isn't it just because he got cut from the movie or something? Yeah, exactly. Um, but he says in the in the movie to his, one of his friends because he kind of has to keep it a secret. He says that it's the furthest place you can get away from. I don't even remember what the place is called that they live, but like that's the city they live. It's the furthest place you can go around the earth without starting to go back towards the place they live. It's the furthest place away. That's Fiji for some reason. Mm -hmm. uh, and I remember watching it as a kid and being more or less. Uh, obsessed with finding out what's the furthest you can get away from Denmark without starting to come back around again. Okay, so what happened? I'm sorry to... It's cool. And I never found out. I don't know why I just didn't take a fucking globus and just look around. Oh, is there more? It's probably a code or something. Yes, three, one, two, and then... Uh, but I never found out. Probably but one. one day I will. And then... Oh, wait. Two? No. Nope. You're putting in some kind of code? I don't know. She's kind of guessing. Honestly. Three, one, two, one. one. Three, three. No, one, one. Yeah. Three, one, two. One, one. Okay. How did we find this out? I just tried. Okay, you just. Learning I'm guessing. by doing. Okay. And then I'm just like. Um, probably three. Nope. No. 
And we have one Yeah, I'm just gonna left. need more life for this. Yeah. And probably find out where exactly the thing is. Yeah. Um, but we will do that on the next episode of Team Viking. Yes. Because we are wildly over time. Whoops. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.